Okay, I'm going to show you what's inside of uh, the Ultra Cap Jump Starter. Now, next thing is, it's still got 9 volts left, so it's going to be potentially dangerous. I'll show you, and I've had it open before, and I didn't like back then, and it looks a bit worse now. Sort of okay, look. It says ABS. Date code. Hopefully we can see it. Fourth. Where's the other one? Sixteen. Get the super caps. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what's under there, I don't want to take it apart. No. This is the circuit board. I'll show you what I don't like. I will have to attempt cleaning up some of that schmoo. SDA. VE calls it. I think it's residue from making the board. And I've had it before on electronics over time. This will destroy the board if you don't clean it. Now, I can't clean it now until this thing's fully depleted. And it's still got that 9 volts left from the last video I made, that's how I jump started it. Now this thing has a 10 year warranty. I don't think it's going to last 10 years unless I actually clean that schmoo off. So I have to see how I'm going to do that. I want to use the proper stuff. Got some cleaner here. Electrical contact cleaner but I don't think that's actually for this purpose. Now I'm going to have to discharge it and that's where every tool has its use. I got the Load Pro, it has its uses and I got a test light. It's not like this thing is any better than this. This has a use, this is a use. I can't discharge this this thing with, with the Load Pro but I can with this. You can see it's glowing. So we'll see if I can discharge it like that. Because here there's nothing, it's protected. And there's got to be a relay or something under there, which we're going to have a look once it's fully discharged. So discharge it now. 616 Okay. And clearly see it's a capacitor discharging, these are not batteries. If it was batteries they weren't discharging that quickly. Okay. Okay. Now on the other side we can see here some hot snot as they call it. I think this will be a sense wire. And then we have a relay right here. Now, this is where it comes into the relay. This is where it goes out of the relay. And the relay is actuated. And so the power will be flowing through this thing here. This is the exact same thing. How a relay works, there's no magic not going through the relay. Power flows through the relay, that's why it's there. It's actuating with a small current and pulls the flap here so the power can flow. Now we have one, two, three, four, five capacitors. There's no name on them. I'll show you the other capacitors. 
Don't know if this is a one hang low brand. SLF. And we have a badass heatsink. I don't recall seeing this in this N in this jump starter that seems to claim a thousand amps. I haven't seen a heatsink on the board. Plus, if you look here, this goes here, there's fasteners. One, two, three, four. There's fasteners here. And then the caps are over here. So, this is this side again. I've cleaned it up now. Took me a couple of turns. I got this from J car. Seems to work. So I got a cheap brush like this. I cut it short and then you do a scrubbing and then you dab it with this. I'm not sure if it's supposed to use paper towel but and the unit is fully discharged now. I'll also try and give you a shot on that chip here. It will show. Oops, going out of focus. Yeah, that seems to be the main chip. And whatever else is on there, I can't explain. I don't know enough about it, but I know about how relays work and how they work, how they are. This is similar to the other brand as well, but this doesn't claim a thousand amps. So, and it's only like for kickstarting things. Very short burst. We'll do some more testing when I have some time. I'm reasonably happy. I'll leave it for a day to see if any of the schmuel comes back. Hopefully not. Okay, thank you.